I thought Glitch was this week. Oh wait, it's Glitch this week? I thought it was Glitch. Oh yeah, it's Glitch. Glitch is pretty bad right now, apparently. It's taking like over an hour to DQ people out of pools. That's bad. That's just lazy, man. That, I don't know. I don't even know whose fault that could be. There, That could be a lot of people's fault. But either way... We're going to game one. It's both the players' fault for choosing Pokemon Stadium 2 as their starting stage. With the edge guard. Oh, nice. Oh, that. and the reverse up B. That's the conversion. With a laser, though, it is going to make contact. Nah. No. Oh, that, that'll be big. Never underestimate Link up B. It is actually, like, very hard to get around. Well, depending on the character, of course, but... Oh, nice. with the conversion though. Yeah, you gotta respect that bomb on ledge. That thing like is ridiculously active. Like the up tilt. Ooh, it's not not yeah. okay. Yeah, Blap is just that type of player. Like, I'm not actually. Even, I think uh, I'm not even surprised. I think Rishi recently posted about like that ten hit link combo. Oh, I've seen that video actually. But that's not the actual combo. That's just the end of it, where it's just okay. back air up B. The whole combo is like. A little bit more. Uh, I'm just saying, like the back air up B, like God. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I, I'm just saying, like that's just kind of like been a thing already. So. Okay. I haven't seen much of Blap in this game. For broccoli and these. Both players at 38%, but broccoli and at a huge lead with the entire stock. Now in the advantage, but ends up pushing himself off stage. Finds the reason. Finds the stage again really quickly though. Yeah. Ooh, I like the choice from uh from Brock there to just kind of be like, hey, he's respecting the bomb. He's gonna try and get out. Of course the uh the boomerang a little bit too slow to like read a roll there. I suppose it is a bit of a safer option for if Luke chose to like jump away, he's fine. Right now we have a lot of situations of like the players just feeling each other out in pressure. The edge guard though, not working out. Ooh, gets punished for that down smash. I like the choice of Nair. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah, barely. What? I barely hit. I'm out. Out of person. Uh, break low and boot. Well, in the opposite order. I feel like okay, though. It'd be hard. Like... My advice help? Yeah. One of the sickest duck and convert to Mallow. Like clay pigeon. Try again. Stop the battle! Draw! Good. That's the five, right? Yeah. You want to get food? Ooh, the Nair though. Yeah. That Nair is good. That Nair is... It's super good. It's yeah, like crazy the one, active. The low lag. That he did, like, the start, right? The jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's super good against Rob Nair in particular because Rob Nair like starts behind Rob, so like the whole thing is trying to wind back around. Like Link's Nair is just this crazy active hitbox that like has a really pointy toe. Gyro kind of whipping right there, so kind of not really able to establish pressure to Nair. So. I don't know how I feel about the use of down air here. I think he needs to like be more cognizant of like the spacings in which that move can like actually try to beat Link's recovery because it just seems like it's just not gonna work. Positions he's trying to use it. I like the up smash though out of shield. Good cognizance. Ooh, I think that forward air actually poked. Yeah, definitely something people need to be a little bit more wary of and probably will be in like a year or two. Like just by habit shield uh, shield tilting. Yeah. Stuff Mostly, like that. It doesn't cover a buff. Hitboxes are so big in this game. Being like, you feel like yeah. The majority of this game being played in the air, you're gonna end up just shield tilting. Yeah. That could have been Ooh, the, the arrow barely uh, beat out the laser. Ooh, nice fair. 
Yeah, Brock spacing super, super well around like Rob's uh, Rob's drone. Like he's straight up just like spaced around that there. Yeah, he's been doing it a lot like throughout the entire set. Yeah. A little, a little more impressive there just because they were kind of both in midair, as opposed to like him being able to use the ground to reposition himself. But how good is Link actually in this game? I see like a lot of movement. He's, like, he's solid. Like definitely, I would say high tier, <laughs> my opinion. Oh yeah. Yeah, you considering how good. Yeah, considering how good his uh his aerials are just in general, like all of them are very good. Yeah. Yeah, you can see Luke is trying to establish like the like, the threat of Nair like a little too hard, but like we've already seen Broccoli and Peas like challenging it like fairly consistently. Difficult to uh difficult decision to make though, just because the ground game is so established by like. Yeah, the, uh, the boomerang and the ooh, ooh, that was cute. It ends up in a lot of cases. Yeah, you have to be willing to play the ground game and just wait a lot more. Like, take this way. Yeah, it's just it feels really uh, inefficient against characters with projectiles and zoning because like the shield mechanics in this game are so weak. But like you 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 kind of have to. There's seven minutes in the game. Yep. But that gyro at ledge just barely able to uh, get the link right there. Rob is a character who is pretty good at stealing games, so, but... Yeah, no. Yeah, the Wait. neutral air. He's in a really bad position, though. Oh, Brock. Super good, uh, payback. Yeah, 100%. I like the choice of, um, fast fall and then immediate up B because it covers, like, not only that fair, but a dare that could've happened. That's a big dare. That's a big fair. And Brock is gonna be up to... Oh. At the moment, it seems like uh, the strategy that Lucon is trying to implement like isn't exactly uh, just like working against the way that Brock's strategy like accounts for Rob's options. I think Luke is trying to like play his game, but Brock is like intentionally playing around his game. But Luke definitely gonna have to uh, start using more options to kind of trip him up and let Brock be a little bit less confident about what he's going for. Oh, the down tilt trade still converting. Brock always, always a super greedy player, but he's very smart about when he chooses his spots. Mostly. Thanks to call you out. 100%. Luke needs to stay grounded more, for sure. He keeps getting hit by, um... Getting hit by, like, superior hitboxes. Recognize. Yeah, like, Brock he, is... He can't, he can't keep, keep yeah, Brock is really, really good about selecting the proper anti-air or air to air for a lot of these situations where, like, Luke is trying to do fair and air. Like, he'll do forward tilt when, um, it's space for that position. He'll do up tilt when he needs to. He'll do air or flare when he needs to. He's very good about, like, choosing the proper anti-air for the situation. Like, the tech roll out. Pretty good. You know, tech would have been fine, but, uh, yep. that was a good choice. Ground speed is amazing. Oh, that's just kind of unfortunate. That's how big like the mesh was on the Oh yeah, it's it's all of Link's hitboxes are ridiculously large, other than like back air, but that move has no lag, so it has its own benefit. I like the choice to get up attack there because he knows that like Link is so far away in that position that like there's no way if he get up attacks he has a solid whip punch option. Absolutely. Ooh, but the the gyro right there. Brock going for the simple I'm gonna jump over your projectile and hit you mix up. You just do it. Yep, this happened. That is one problem that a lot of people have against projectiles is they're not willing to like just kind of commit in situations where it's like 50-50 reward, like risk reward is if I jump in on them, they die. And if they don't, I get hit. Well, the basic, well, a lot of zoners in this game can punish jump super hard with like really good aerials. Yeah, both yeah. The, both of these characters can do that quite well. Yeah. So you're conditioned almost to like ever jump again to, like towards them. Definitely, but, um, like, the, the just the fundamental mix-up is, like, most zoners are designed with strong anti-airs. It's just, like, you have to play the mix-up, so it's like... Yeah, but the established, like, unwillingness from, uh, from Brock to not, to not approach from the air. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that taunt ledge trap right there, but... I didn't even look. Let's <laughs> see what happened. Luke taunted. I think it was just, like, an accident. But the downer finally working out for Lucon. Gyro taking him out, uh... 
Looking him out of his upkeep. Yep. Bounce off the stage. Ooh, he's off stage. He still has some gas, but makes it back. Get up attack, calling it out. That's a weight. Ooh, up throw, forward it. Yep. I like the jump away, but I kind of would have preferred if he did something. But like trying to... Uh, punish Brock for trying to make it back to center stage. Mm -hmm. That is a habit I've seen for quite a bit now. Ooh, the Nair just kind of busting through the Nair. <laughs> like Nair busting through Rob's Nair. Do that. I like the stall. Brock attempting to call out the... Oh, he di in. Yeah. Probably wanted it like away and down up there, likely. Definitely not in. Yeah, no, it's like... Probably, um, 